Hello, welcome to Blue Discussions, and our topic for today is that Prescott in his return to the 2021 season with the Dallas Cowboys, and we wanted to discuss if he and his new receivers have the character and the potential and the desire to make it to this new playoffs for the 2021 season. Stick around to the discussion, and welcome once again to Blue Discussions. And before we go to our Blue Discussions, please click and subscribe. Let's see. Welcome to Blue Discussions, okay? We're going to have five people. I already have the introduction, so we're going to have five. And Eric Puga is joining us from San Antonio. Then I have Alfonso Sainz from Austin, as, uh, as well as Alfonso Vela from Austin, the roommates. So mm -hmm. we like that. And Arturo Puga from Kyle, Texas. Arturo Puga. There he is. <laughs> okay. So the, the, today, like I mentioned before, we're going to be talking about the Cowboys, okay? And specifically Dak and the receivers, okay? So my question, I'll pose it to, uh, to our non-Dallas Cowboys uh, representative here. My first question is, will Dak and the Cowboys be making the playoffs this season? Uh, I'll pose it to everybody, but I'll give the, uh, the, um, the first shot at Eric Puga there. I'm going to go with yes. They're going to make it. <clears throat> They're going to go with a 9-7 and seven record, but I don't think they'll get far in the playoffs. Okay, that's, that's a good introduction. I'll come back to you. Arturo Puga, what do you think? You're saying they're going to make the playoffs in 9-7 and in the NFC East? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. And, uh, I'll go to Alfonso Sainz. What do you think, Alfonso? So is the question, are the Cowboys making it or is Dak making it? That's a, that's a good uh, a good adjustment. I want to say Dak and the Cowboys for now. Uh, I'm not saying the Cowboys without Dak. I'm saying Dak and the Cowboys. I mean, I, I would still say Dak and the Cowboys make it. And, and uh, I would say the record – is going to be double digits, so at least 10 wins. Okay, then I'll come back to you. Alfonso Vela, what do you think? Um, well, first of all, I don't think Dak will be, be there at the end of the year. And <laughs> then um, second of all, I think – I don't know what our record would be, but I think we'll have a winning record. I think, um, I think we'll have more wins and losses. Um, and I do think we'll at least make it to the, the Final Four team. I don't think we'll make it to the Super Bowl, but we should be one of the Final Four teams this year. Well, that's a positive spin. We remember we have the first three games. The first three games is the Rams, the Falcons, and the Seahawks. So having said that, and all of all of you are saying that the Cowboys are going to make it to the playoffs, but now let's spin it to to Dak. Okay, let's spin it. I'll start with Arturo Puga. Remember Arturo that all of you that we're playing the Rams, the Falcons, and the Seahawks. Is 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 uh, is Dak is going to be Dak is going to be at the end of the. Uh, at the end of this uh, season with the Cowboys, Arturo? So this is a, it's going to be a, a difficult start to the season because they have, you know, such great teams coming out at the very start. So uh, I anticipate them going two and two. I know I can, they can pull out at least two games. And as long as they do that, it keeps the uh, quarterback controversy at bay, especially with somebody that can take home of the, of the offense at any given time. So if they don't start two and two, it's going to be t uh, tougher. It's going to become tougher and tougher as, the weeks go by for, for Dak, especially with his, his psyche and everything going on behind the game and in the locker room. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, Eric, what do you think? You're talking about the first three games or the first four? The first three games. Well, he added the, the fourth one, but uh, oh, okay. uh, focus on the first three games. <clears throat> I have them losing against the Rams, winning against the Falcons, and then losing against the Seahawks. So, Ooh, and, 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 uh, and I'm going to go back to, to – Losing and losing and a little bit, okay. Uh, Alfonso Vela, what do you what do you think about the first three games? Um, the first three games, well, I mean, two of them are away, so that's the Cowboys never do good away, and I think that puts more pressure on Dak. So I think um, I think we'll probably end up winning one because two of them are away, but uh, we won't. Ha we'll have a shaky start, and I, that's that's why I think Dak's going to struggle because two of the games are away. So are they going two and two? Are they going? Uh, we'll go two and one. Two and one. Two and one. Two and, one. And, and Alfonso Sainz, what do you think before I go to the next, the next, uh, one one. There. what do you think about the first three games, Alfonso Sainz? Two wins? One loss? Start no, no, no. One loss, two wins. I'm sorry. One oh, okay, okay. But go for it. Yeah, I think, they, I think they start off on a positive note in LA to start off the season. So I'm going to give them a win. And then the second win with Atlanta. And then first loss will be 
at Seattle. So that'll, that'll start off them their, their season at 2-1. Wow. Wow. Okay, that was a positive spin on Alfonso Sainz. But, uh, but you know, I, I saw on the first three answers that we're going to lose two games, and it seems like we're going to lose two games in a row. So when I say we, I mean the Cowboys. So if, if in fact, we're going to lose two games, as Eric and Arturo and Alfonso Vela were saying, then I'm going to ask, uh, uh, I'm going to start with Al Alfonso Vela. Uh, once we lose those two games, uh, are, we, are we moving to a new quarterback? Um, yeah, well, like I said last time, I, I, don't, I don't think Dak Prescott makes it past like two or three games, ga three games max. And if, if I'm already saying they're losing two, then I don't believe he'll get past three games. Maybe they'll give him a fourth game, but that's just if he's barely making it, depending on how he does those games, maybe too many interceptions, too many turnovers. It just depends on, on, on his exact thing. Maybe it's not even his fault we're losing. So it just depends really on, on uh, how he does himself as, you know, not really a team thing, more of how he does himself. So, so you're saying right now that if we go 0-4, they're changing the quarterback on the fifth game? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying 0-4. I thought, I thought, like I said, I thought we, we'll probably beat the Falcons, I, I believe, but um, I don't think we'll win the other two. I think when, when we lose the other two to the Seahawks and to the Rams, he'll lose his job more than likely. Like, they'll, they'll already be talked about him, like, sitting on the bench. I think they'll definitely be talked. What do you think, Arturo? What were you going to say, Arturo? I think there's definitely going to be talks. Uh, you know, if we lose two, three games in a row, like you mentioned, uh, we have somebody and how and how we lose, not just that's true. That's true. Um, you know, cause like you said, we don't know if the defense is gonna lose the game or whatever, whatever might happen. Okay, and and Eric, Eric, uh, you're saying that we're gonna lose two games too. I, I, are you seeing this uh, quarterback uh, change as well? No, not yet. If anything, if there's any uh, QB talks changes, I think it'll come afterwards after the bye week. <clears throat> yeah, because you you did say that we're gonna have an eight eight and eight record, right? Nine seven. So seven. somewhere down the line, we're gonna lose two or three games in a row, according to your prediction. So yeah, I have them losing quite a bit in the beginning, uh, just because it's a, a harder schedule. And then, like I said, if any, if, depending on how Dak Prescott does, um, then the talks will come after bye week. And then that's so you, just so, wait. So I just ask you, Eric. So you think um, uh, that coming off of last year's pressure and them adding Andy Dalton, they're going to let him go four games plus, even if they're losing? Well, I don't have them losing a lot of games. I have them how, how many? How many losing? At, at, well, you said at the beginning they're going to do that. All right, that. before so before right. let him struggle. Check it out. Beginning? This is what I have on the first nine games that they have. That's before their bye week on the tenth week. I have them losing, winning. I don't know if y'all have the schedule in front of y'all, but I have a – so losing, winning, losing, 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 winning, winning, losing, winning. You have them losing. Oh, you, got two, you, you don't have three, three uh, losings in a row. I know. Yeah, I have the first the, – week three, four, and five, they're, they're losing three in a row. But the That's next – like I said, game six and seven, those, <clears> they, <throat> those are winnable games for him. <clears throat> and that's going to keep him alive. But just – if Wait, who's week four? Isn't what? that the Browns? Isn't week four yeah, the Browns? That's what, that's what I was about to say. So, week um, four is the Browns. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, after the first three games, you're talking about Cleveland, New York, Arizona. Cleveland is not is not um, a very well run team right now. So nah. that, that's not a. a uh, I a can long. disagree with you on that though, because on paper, I mean, if you want to say that, just based off of wins and losses, we can say the same thing about the Are Cowboys. You can see off the tower. True, true. But oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, coaching staff. We have a new coaching we go, staff. We go with say, players, player coach. talent. There's a lot of talent on both teams. Okay. I'll, I'll, we're going to give it to Alfonso. Alfonso Sainz. Go ahead, Alfonso. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll give, I'll give you Cleveland, but New York and Arizona. And then Washington after that. I mean, we, 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 we know about everything going on in Washington. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, the tough games I can see are, are, are Los Angeles, Seattle, Philadelphia. You know, that's, I mean, there's some winnable games there. Well, I have them winning against uh, Arizona and Washington. Okay. Do you have them beating the Falcons? Okay. No. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have them beating the Falcons. My bad. Okay. That'll, right. be a that'll be a tough one. So it seems somewhere that down the line that all of you agree that we're going to have some, some losing games and definitely two in a row, perhaps three in a row, but most definitely two in a row. So 
we are going to have that controversy with the, with the, with the quarterback. And I'm just going to ask you before I go to the next question, I'm going to ask you one more time so I can have it on record. Is, is, Dak, is Dak Prescott going to finish the season playing as a starting quarterback with the Cowboys? We're going to go with uh, Arturo Puga. Uh, you know, barring any injury, um, I'm sure he's going to be there to the end. He's a mistake-free quarterback, and, uh, you know, he might not be the most effective, but he, he definitely doesn't throw too many interceptions. So, Okay. And Alfonso Sainz? Yeah, um, I agree with you. Uh, he'll make it to the end of the season. Uh, will his stats be as good as it been? As good as, as good as they can be, maybe not. But you, we have evidence to show that Dak is a consistent quarterback. He he, he plays well enough to to garner uh, um, you know, starting position and all that. Uh, you know, the only thing I could see is is uh, if the if the, the losing starts to pile up, and um, you know people start clamoring for any Dalton just because they want to change. But you know, other than that. I see Dak uh, okay. playing all the way through. And Eric, do you see Dak finishing with all your predictions there, finishing the, the season with a, with as a starting quarterback? I'm going to go with, I mean, just depending on how he's doing, how his record ends up at the end. But like I said, if any talks happen, it's going to happen after bye week. And because I have him winning four games after bye week, but then losing the last three. So I might, if they're making the playoffs, there's going to be some QB talk changes those last three games going into playoffs. So possibility he won't be there for playoffs, depending on how he ends the season. Okay. And the, then, talks will be, the talks will definitely be there, though. Then definitely, there'll be controversy. And then left Alfonso Vela at the end. <laughs> he thinks Dak is not going to yeah. win. <laughs> when do you think Dak Prescott stops uh, – playing as a starting quarterback? I, I think, uh, like I said last time, um, I mean, it's going to depend on how, how he's doing, of course, but I've already seen him at his best when he, uh, Tony Romo left. And even at his best, he can't get us anywhere. So no. I think, so I think even, I mean, coming off of last year and then with all this controversy, I just think that he's, he's not going to, he's not going to perform. I mean, it's a lot of pressure. And even with, with no pressure, he's already struggling. So with all this pressure, I don't see him coming out of the hole. So, um, I, I just I just see him not come, going past four or five games, and and now they have a, a a backup that's proven himself, Andy Dalton, that I truly believe is already better than Dak right now this date. So, yeah. um, and I, I honestly don't think it would be bad for Dak to have Andy Dalton in front of him. I think he'd learn from him, um, but um, I don't know. I just don't see Dak getting past four games. Not, it's too tough of a schedule. Old prediction right there. Okay, so I like I like the predictions, and I'm gonna give you uh, a few a few. Uh, uh, a minute or two. To I mean, I don't think the team uh, believes in him that much either. They haven't given him a contract. No. Yeah. Well, that, I, I, and Jerry Jerry Jones is already fishing for a new quarterback in college. Yeah. And like that he said, right he's it's been going on for the last what eight ten years. They talked him up. Even last year, they were supposed to be what eleven and eleven and five. They ended up eight and eight. Be one of the best teams last year. Yep. They had him like top five team, finishing eleven and five. They ended up um, eight and eight, like always. So definitely, definitely, it's gonna be definitely a controversy uh, with Dak and the Cowboys this this season. Uh, so I'm gonna give you the second question. I'm gonna give you like a minute, and then we we'll wrap it up. Uh, um, do the Cowboys have the best receivers in the NFL for this season? What do you think, Alfonso? Bella. Uh, Bella. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're one of the top people with uh, receivers. But I think when you have the best receivers and quarterback that can't get them the ball it really doesn't matter okay and and uh, Alfonso Sainz I know that you you went like this with your face what are you what are you thinking um yeah I, I definitely think we have top five best receiving core I don't top think three. It's, you could argue top three I don't think it's the top number one yet uh they haven't you have one receiver who's not touched the field yet see in CD Lamb and in Amari Cooper who still hasn't played in a playoff game. So, oh, actually, I don't know if he has. Watch his college film. But, <clears throat> I mean, talent-wise. We're in the NFL, though. Can't live on the past. That's typical Cowboys. Trust Cowboys. me. Trust me. Trust me. That, that guy that guy became our number one receiver when we drafted him. <laughs> yeah, but college is a whole different game, though. Okay. okay so, you don't, so, you, so, you don't think he's going to do good? I mean, he'll do good. And answering the question, they have a top – they have a talented – Receiving court, but it's not the top tier. I don't think top five, not yet. 
And they've had, they, hey, we can, hey, we can throw names every year. Every year we can throw names. We can go back to the Mike Irvin area. We can throw all those names in, but they didn't do anything. Michael Irvin, three Super Bowls. No, I'm saying like there, that era that was done with. After that, we had the Bryants. We had all these fuckers. And Amari, Amari Cooper is is one of the best receivers in the league. That's just and for sure. And then C. Lamb stepping in there. But that, and that's. Lamb, and that's individual them. talent, though. That's individual talent. They're good. Yeah, like I said, it, it starts at the it starts at the quarterback. Quarterback can't get the ball. It doesn't matter how good your receiver. Amari's are. your best. It doesn't matter. I still wouldn't pick him over Julio or Devontae or, De- or. Yeah, but that's why you don't coach in the NFL, or that's why you're not a GM. I'm telling you, bro. These, these guys, these guys are some of the best receivers in the NFL, and they're together playing on the same team. I mean, that's what do you think about that? Because you're you're staying quiet. Well, uh, from. The best receiving core right now is going to be Tampa Bay, H- hands down. And then Kansas, the, the New Orleans Saints, mm. and the Cowboys. Okay. All and right. uh, I don't believe, does anybody disagree with that top four receiving core? Yeah, I would say it, it's them, but I don't know about the order. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, you can argue the order, but it's definitely those, those teams. Yeah, definitely those four. Okay. Uh, definitely, uh, uh, all of us uh, think that the Cowboys are going to make it to the playoffs. There's a couple of you, starting with Alfonso Vela, that thinks that the, the Dak is not going to finish the quarterback as a starting quarterback for the Cowboys. Uh, so we see how uh, the, uh, the Dallas Cowboys receivers are going to help Dak to stay on track or to stay, uh, to stay uh, off the, uh, the front lines. But uh, thank you, all of you, for, uh, for your opinions and uh, We'll, uh, we'll send you the next topic for, for next week. Uh, Eric Puga from San Antonio. Arturo mm-hmm. Puga from um, Kyle, Texas. Alfonso Sainz and Alfonso Vela from Austin, Texas, their roommates. Thank you very much, uh, and we'll see you next week in Blue Discussions. <laughs> Blue Horse.